Hi everybody, it's me, Miss You, and we are now going to be doing the snail cam. We're going to go to front view. We're going to define our variables. They are the same as what they've been. Whoops. Add variable. Our first variable is going to be h, and the value of it is two inches. The next one is going to be um, Actually, it's not H, it's D. Next one is going to be H, and it is 0.25 inches. And the last one is E, and it is 0.25 <coughs> inches. Excuse me. <coughs> Allergy season. Okay, there we go. Next, we're going to, different from what we've done so far, we're going to create the sketch and we're going to select circle and we're also going to select construction line. The snail cam has three different radiuses, D over 2, D over 3, and D over 4. So we're going to draw three concentric circles, one, two, and three. Next, we're going to dimension them to, this is D divided by two, D divided by three, and D divided by four, okay? Once we have our three construction circles, um, we're gonna start by drawing a line from D over two, right along the Y axis, from D over two to D over four, which is right there, okay? Let's get out of the line view. Next, we're going to draw an arc from D over four to D over three, okay? And let's go something like that, okay? The center of this arc is, I don't see it right now, but I will, it will, I'll see it soon. The next arc that we're going to go draw is also a three-point arc. We're going to go from D3 to D4. And we're going to go right into the middle over there. Excellent. So now you could kind of see this cam is similar to the cam that we're looking at. So we're now going to get out of that view. And we want our center points to be on the y axis, the center points of the arcs. So we're going to move it over a little bit uh, with coincident constraint. So this dot is going to move here. And it appears as though, and I'm going to look, I already have it. No, the coincident constraint. There we go. Even though we were close, we were not quite on it. Okay. and. All we have next to do is the hole in the middle. And our hole is going to be dimensioned to H right. And we're going to now extrude it. So we're going to end the sketch. I'm going to extrude the shape. 
And that looks like a really big, let's change this over here. This goes in as E. This looks like a really big uh, hole for the axial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the length instead of, of D, instead of being two, I'm gonna change it to four just for, just to show you how easy it is and everything will change and it looks great.